welcome back to another episode of Star Wars The Old Republic. Uh, we have made our way into the second area of Alderaan. So we need to go and talk to this guy right here, Stanil Thul, to do the next part of our Alderaan specific story arc. So let's go. Stanil Thul, I was told you want to see me. Yes, Moff Sarek said you'd be here. We've had an inspection team lost to the Killix for days now, advisors from Droman Kass. They were inspecting one of our mining sites for lanthanide deposits. But in the middle of their inspection, the entire place was overrun by Killix. We've had no communication for days. Oh, give me a second. I forgot to maximize my window. No. Oh. Uh, it always gives me the reload screen when I do that. <clears throat> Who's that? Some other noble house? Killix are the native aliens here. Giant bugs with just enough brains to hold a blaster. Moff Sarek wants this team back. Apparently, some of them hold serious rank off-world, but the rest of House Thule is balking. Attacking these Killix would take half our army, but apparently, I'm too close to the problem to strategically assess its value. Lay it out, then. What's the mission? Go to the mines, find the team, and free any who are still alive. Whatever you can do to hurt the Killix, do it. And there's my daughter. She was leading the team. If you save her, I promise as great a reward as I can muster. You start digging into that treasury, I'll get everyone out of that mine that walks on two legs. If you rescue Daria, I will gladly give you my every last credit. Alright, so it's a rescue mission. So, we have one over here on the right that you might not be able to see. And another one right here, which is our main bounty hunter story quest. So, I am going to uh, do a cut from here to here, so we can do the rescue mission. Be right back. All right, we've made our way to the Kellett Caves over here where we're going to uh, look for the missing people and his daughter. So there's going to be some combat in here. Let's get on to a time lapse. the last set of, of mine guys here and I believe that there's going to be a cutscene of some kind. Inspection guys, whatever you call them. You have There's removed those who are not of the nest. Had they stayed, they would have learned the peace of the joining. We will not deny you your prize. But leave now. There has been a song of swarming. We have claimed these mines for the nest. I'm looking for Stanil Thul's daughter. Once we were called Daria Thul. Now we are known as New Child of the Ukanuku Nest. We have tasted the gel and scented the egg chamber. We have joined. So you're a Killick now? There is peace in the nest. A love that comes of sharing one mind. It is a gift beyond measure. We will never return. How can you live like this? How do you live in a world where everyone is a stranger? Where a smile may conceal a knife in the back? Stanothul is not my family. He and his kind have brought war to Alderaan in the name of their own power. Here we are safe. Here we are at peace. Here we will stay. Well, we've been paid to bring his daughter back, so we're going to try to make that happen. Come with me, or die along with every killer here. That's your only option. No, we will never. We are hearing the voice of the nest. We have decided it is not worth many losses to save one. The nest has spoken. We will return. Oh, there you go. 
All right, that being said, um, I think we're going to go ahead and go straight back to Stanol Fool because I don't remember if there's more things further south and the place we need to go is further south in this same area. So I will cut and we'll go talk to Stanol Fool again and see what's next. I'll be right back. And we're back and ready to talk to the guy and see what happens next. Thank you. My medics are treating the inspection team for shock, but they seem otherwise unharmed. I wish I could say the same for my daughter. It is clear those monsters have drugged her, brainwashed her. I've heard of this, something in the pheromones that joins their captives to their hive mind. She may still recover. Be patient with her. I only wish I could have protected her. General Fool, excuse me. It is urgent I speak with my rescuer at once. I'm Agent Craig Graf, Imperial Intelligence. It was no accident those Killicks attacked when they did. The Ulgos pushed them toward that mine. How did you arrive at that? We've been monitoring communications between the Ulgo strike teams in that region. This was definitely planned. The push was orchestrated by the Ulgos to distract us from something they're calling Operation Sunshower. I suggest we make sure their plan doesn't work. I've heard that term. It's come up a few times in the chatter we're getting from our back door into the Organa networks. It's a beradium detonator, a massive explosive. They plan to strike at the heart of Full Lands. The detonator's being transported by Boris Ulgo's elite soldiers, former Republic Special Forces, with the best weapons they could take and all the training the Republic gave them. Kill the soldiers? Steal the weapon? Just before the Killix arrived, we acquired a data file that I believe to be the launch codes for the detonator. If you really wish to strike fear into the heart of the Ulgo's, get into the camp where they're holding it and set it off prematurely. It won't be the full force of the weapon, but let it be Ulgo that perishes, not Thul. That's one way to do it. Got ourselves a nice little upgraded implant. Uh, where's that medical droid? There's always a medical droid nearby. Ah, uh, he's right here. So we'll sell out some stuff. Uh, we gotta go right back over in this area, yeah. So I, I had a feeling we had to go back and do some stuff right there. Do you require there. medical attention? So we'll sell out some stuff. Be well. Also create login rewards. Please use all okay. products only as intended. Sell off some of this stuff that I don't need. No influence gain. I'm a fan of these things that they give you that, like, you can't sell. You just have to destroy them. Be well. We'll give this to our companion. Open that, take that. Do you want any of this? That gives him something. Uh, you can't get rid of it because it's... Bunch of stuff. Mm, okay, small influence gain. No influence gain. Yeah, we probably get some of this stuff to Mako, so let's give it to Mako. Let's bring her back. Great, I needed a drink. She doesn't care about that, she wants that. And then we'll bring back Galt. See ya. So who are we shooting today? What else can we medical sell this attention. Stuff? All right, cool. So neither of them wanted any of that. Be well. All right, so we've got our inventory all sorted out, and we need to run over and uh, infiltrate this area over here to blow some stuff up. So I'm actually just going to do a time lapse straight over there because it's not that far, and uh, I don't want to have to stop and do another explanation. So let's go.
we made it to our objective, and as usual, I'm not sure if there's a cutscene, so we're gonna go ahead and go back to normal time here. See all my oh yeah, that's right, we gotta run into this little safe area over here. So we'll run along over here and hop into the room. There'll be a button to close the door and we'll let the bomb go off. Oh, okay. I guess that was it then. So let's go back to Stanel Fool then. Don't even need to do that because we can just quick travel back. Don't even need to cut to it because we can just quick travel back and find out what's next. <laughs> You got for us, Thul. Thank you. You are again Thul Savior, saving our lands from devastation and death. I had wondered why an outsider was entrusted with so many secrets of the Empire. Now I see there is no one else whose abilities compare. Do those words translate into credits? I can certainly offer you a bonus for your service, Bounty Hunter. The Ulgos have retreated to mourn their casualties. Perhaps I should do the same. My superiors have been asking about you. There is some intrigue happening with House Wrist. Trouble for our allies. If you're interested, look for Dathis Elgin. Moff Sarak has already commended you to him. Oh, well, all right then. Got ourselves an upgraded set of bracers. Go ahead and pop those on. Uh, what's this? Eh. I don't need any of that. All right, so we'll sell some stuff real quick, and then the last thing we have to do is our main story quest. Uh, usually, usually you have one class-specific story quest per separated area, so we're gonna go do this, and then ideally that will move us on to the next one. Do so, you require let's sell some medical junk. attention? Be well. And then we'll hop on our speeder and head over there. And I think I'm gonna do another uh, time lapse. I'll try to find some travely time lapse move it. Uh, music to go along with these longer running around things, but I, I want you guys to see the terrain. You guys, like, I cut to these things and you guys are missing all of the beautiful terrain and stuff, so I think we'll go ahead and just do a straight time lapse all the way through running out there, fighting on the other end of it, and then we'll go back to normal time when it's time to do uh, talking stuff, so yeah, let's do that. I forgot to hit record again when I went back into this area, but uh, a quick summary since you guys missed it We talked to this dude here. He protested that there was no fake relics in here uh, But we told him he better start searching and while we were so while we were searching there was a fight and we had to fight some people off While he did he found a fake vase over here and now we have to go talk to the main guy again back in the main area So yeah, sorry about that. You missed a little bit of content, but it was just a little bit of more fighting not really all that much so uh, we're gonna go ahead and time lapse travel back to the main guy so we can continue on so we can uh, finish up today's chapter. So see let's get the let's go ahead and move. Back at the pal at the uh, main guy's area, so let's find Except out what he wants. Accept your next. hand. <laughs> I'd sooner thrust my fist into a thresher. I I don't understand. I, I thought this had already been arranged, approved. Advocate, be so kind as to remove this thing from my presence. Kindness doesn't pay. Try again. You would have this thug manhandle me? Uh, fine. I'll pay you. Just get this insufferable swine out of here. Come on, fatbag. She ain't interested. 
this must be some kind of mistake. <laughs> well, that oh, we was at least worth a week's time. pocket money. I hope you know what to do with that much. This is going straight into the ammo and explosives fund. Good day, advocate. <laughs> okay. He didn't like that, but whatever. I don't care. These snobby people really get on my nerves. Your attack on House Alder certainly didn't go unnoticed, but you managed not to cause any unnecessary destruction. That merits a bonus, I think. Appreciate it, Baron. You'll be certain to see more if you continue to perform with distinction. Let's see what you've discovered. Hmm. This is an Organa's house tongue. Give me a moment to pass the details. These houses. Thul vassals. Ulgo vassals. House Organa. Duke Corwin isn't just allying with the Organas. He's organizing an entire coalition against the House Thul. Sounds like he's prepping you guys for a good beatdown. Indelicate, but accurate. And there is nothing we can do about it. My cousin is safe within the sanctuary of House Wrist. If he's under their protection, it's little wonder why the Juristeel Duke always survives. The Wrists are a family of assassins who ascended into nobility through centuries of murder and sabotage. Duke Corwin is beyond our reach. I'm gonna pay House Wrist a visit. Be back once the Duke's a corpse. You're determined. I'll give you that. You'll need to find Duke Corwin's haven inside House Wrist and stop whatever negotiations my cousin has underway permanently. I'm likely sending you to your death, but if you can manage to succeed, I will have a suitable payment waiting. Well, uh, oh, we got ourselves a new set of armor, so or le leggings, anyways. Ah, we're starting to get into some armored stuff. Oh yeah. All right. Well, <clears throat> I believe that we are now done with area number two. So area number three will be for our next chapter. Thank you for joining me today. Uh, let me know if you're gonna if you uh, if you like the time lapse travel sequences. Uh, if you like them, I'll definitely make sure I keep them. And if not, then we will go back to cutting between areas. So thank you for watching today. Hope you're enjoying the story, and I will see you guys next time.